And next in the figure reviews is the Iron Man 2 concept series Hyper Velocity Armor, which I like. I'm very happy with it. So, yep. Yeah, it does come with the stand and the armor cars, but if you already have the figure, then you already know what they do and stuff. There's a website that's written on the side of the armor cards, it's not active yet. Well, that's the latest I've heard. But uh, onto articulation. His head swivels 360 and goes up and down. His arms go 360 and do go a little bit in and out, but because of the shoulder pads, they're a bit hindered. And bends at the elbow, rotates at the elbow. Does not rotate at the hand because that's part of the the arm and has the Hasbro join which I did try on my Mark II and the leg broke so I had to glue it back on so I'm not going to try on this one leg bends at two points at the knee and pivots turns and pivots up and down so yeah uh, detail it's got very good face sculpt it I do like the shoulder pads that they don't pop off like the Mark II from the Iron Man 2 one and the Iron Man 1 figures. The arc reactor and the repulsor hands are better than the first movie one. Although the repulsor hand is just a blue and the arc reactor is kind of blue and then white in the middle. but. I enjoy it. In terms of size comparison, here it is next to the Mark V. It's a little bit taller, or maybe the same size. Mm, yeah, it's taller than the Mark V. But yeah, so I enjoy this one. If you see this one, then pick it up. It comes with a missile launcher which is the same as all the others, it fires and yeah so, oh yeah and it rotates at the waist at the chest, I forgot to say that bye